welcome or welcome back to Jamaican Italian Kitchen with your girl Tanish. Enjoy! Let's make some ackee and sawfish and fry dumpling. Get a pudding pan, add some flour, any amount you want, then you can add salt, then you can add baking soda, I mean baking powder. I'm going to get a pot. And as you make a midday, so I'm going to use the salt fish. Up. Nice and easy and a bone in there. Then I'm going to wash off the salt. Time to cook. Add a country pepper. And then add that for cook. Add a cover for speed up the boiling. Make sure your hand them clean. Because I eat you I go use and need your flour. Some people like to put a little bit of sugar in there, but not me. Me, I stay away from sugar. Pot pan stove. Turn on the stove. You want it pan medium. You know. I'm going to use olive oil because any other oil will set my stomach. So while the pot is hot, clean on, we're going to need we're going to make the dumpling now. Once the pot hot, we got to add the oil. And allow that to get hot. Let us fry our flour. Time to make our ackee and sawfish step by step. Let's go. And to get a little hot, we're going hard with olive oil. Allow that to get hot. Turn them after a while when you see them brown and golden. And remember, if you turn down the stove because inside need to cook. And you can just pour some oil in a them like what we do. That help them soak and the inside cook faster. Mm -hmm. So, in other part here, we have olive oil and it hot. So we got throw in. The seasoning we have some sweet pepper onion scallion country pepper and tomato just want to saute them here first so you see because the dumpling them get fat and round don't be afraid to turn your dumpling them on the side so the side can get that nice golden color too. I'm afraid the oil nah burn you. The oil just nah burn. Nah burn you. Everything good. Don't be afraid to flip it from the side. You know what I mean? And let it fry too. Just like that guys. Don't worry about not nah burn you. We have tough skin. Mm. Alright, back to the ackee and the sawfish. So now that the onion and the bell pepper and the scallion and the Thing yeah, so. Nice and sauteed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this this alone smell. We're gonna add with tomato, y'all. Yeah? Let that cook too. Alright, you know this plate, guys. We have with saltfish. That's the same saltfish that we cook. See it yeah? All you have to do is just use your little hand and just broke it up like that. Simple, simple, one, two, three. Not not hard enough. Use your hand, broke up a saltfish. Mm -hmm. Make sure you taste it, huh? taste it to see if enough salt come out. Yeah, it is good. Hmm? I'm afraid to taste it. Mm -mm. I'm afraid to taste it for food, people.
God, no! What I like to do when my tomato gets soft, I like to just crush it. Crush my tomato, I don't know why. When I like to taste a big chunk of tomato in my food, so I just take a fork and crush it out and soften it up and get out all the juice. Now, this is nice and ready for the sawfish. Sawfish time. Show that in there. Show that in there. Let this cook for yeah, a little while. Checking in the flavor from the seasoning. That's how we do it. Same way, so we do it, guys. Jamaican hockey and saltfish, the Jamaican style. How that look? How that look? Talk to me. All right, now that the, the saltfish nice and cooked and sauteed, you know what time it is, guys? You know what time it is? It is time to add the aki. So I'm going to cut it and take you out of it and rinse it off little. Black pepper. Fork. And take time to mix it in. So guys, I'm going to cover it up so it's simmer. Go check on the flour. So, the dumping them down. All done, ready to eat. Let's enjoy!